Aegis Assault not going to do a lot here, but he's going to leap in again. Oh, CD Armas looking strong. First blood coming through. Maori, you ain't got no business being here. The only way is forwards for Broken Blades. Jumps on top of Shigen that manages to get the kill. Caps fighting Larson here in the wave. Does get the Q stacked up. They're trying to body block, they're trying to separate him, but they've already taken out Caps. Now the fight moving in favor of Koi. The stolen Dragon's Cast going to knock back Mickey. Yike running, but Koi careful not to overextend here. Careful not to overcommit. A bit of poke back in the favor of G2, but they'll walk away with the kill on the Caps. I think Caps had a window to ult there, you know? Yike. In these all ins. Superior Keystone by far in the hands of Pantheon and Strong. Urban now the knock of anything you can do, I can do better. The stolen Yasuo ultimate, but they're going to turn it back. They're taking turns. The Caps comes out on top. He gets the initial kill. Still a one for one. It's the reversal reversal, isn't it? Nice it's setup. Like OGN 2014 Summer Blind Pick Yasuo. It's just flashback. It's, it's coming isn't game, it? game five Blind Pick Yasuo. It's all coming back to yike, you, Yike, yike, yike. Broken Blade has ult. Here he comes Trying to get from the back. heavens. Broken Blade looking to land the spear, connecting it onto Shigenda. There's just nowhere for him to go. He's ignited. The Aegis Assault now coming out. Broken Blade trying to walk this one away. He's going to come through with the spear. Broken Blade's getting top waves in. Eyes on him because now Shigenda tried to hover mid Knock up. Clean combo oh coming my. in from the Yasuo. And it's just a one shot in the mid lane. Yeah, Mickey's hovering. I feel like Malrang and Trimby have been trying to cover mids. But on the windows that they tried to cover, G2's either there or there's no action to be had. But when G2 picks a window, there's always a fight. G2 have literally just ran from Hot River, taken Drake, through mid, and got a kill and taken Herald. It's the map is in a shambles right now for Koi. No caps. flash on caps though. Waiting on the wind wall as long as possible. Gonna wind wall through now, trying to dash it. Good knock, but here comes the Pantheon. This could be bad for Larson because immediately they're gonna try to turn it back. Broken Blade oh. flashing forward now, focus. Eyes on Nalrang, but he's got no mana. Shigenda ready with the follow up. Trimby going as fast as he can through the acceleration gate. Desperate to re engage, desperate to get something back, but here comes Mickey trying to deny it. Trimby now going forward. Boom! Shut down onto Broken Blade. Koi spot their man, they call their target and take him down. Trimby. On the retreat. Oh. Oh. Quick reaction there coming in from Mickey. Billy Yank needs to body block forward. Mickey. Larson gonna try to start another play. The chain CC layering not quite perfect. And that moment where it doesn't connect is all it takes for Caps to turn that one back. Another kill as G2 descend upon the mid lane. Trimby will fall. This game has just been a massive 3v3, hasn't it? Broken Blade's trying to get involved. Shigenda as well. Yes, but it's all about Caps versus Larson and the jungle supports covering. Instant Hex Flash now coming through. Lock up onto Broken Blade. Broken Blade can try to use the Mortal Will, but they're still gonna get hit as he gets knocked back. Taken out on the top side of the map. Really clean play from the side of Koi, and so much of that Pantheon's early game advantage yep. is just disappearing. They've suppressed Broken Blade. He was off to a great start, but now all those kills. Did I say that? Koi is hanging around. Broken Blade has the ult, so he can get there before Shigenda. Trying to go in down to Mickey. They know that he's got no stopwatch. He's got no way out of that one. He's going to lay down the turret. They're going to pray, but Mickey is still standing. The team has got his back. The Ultra Shock Laser will not connect, but the stolen ultimate from the forest will. At least they're trading one back, but it is disaster for Koi as they take so long to take down Mickey. That was so much damage, and I think it came from Yike. He's slowly going to get stronger and stronger, but he needs two or three more items before he can match against these champions. Mickey, Mickey. hello, Mickey. He is in no man's land. He's setting up the towers, and he's just he's getting dunked down. I didn't see that scene in Arcane. <laughs> he just dunks down the Heimendinger, takes him off the council. And, uh... <laughs> but just knocking Shigenda away, forcing the flash, though. Ooh, oh, now Caps caught up, instant one shot of the officer should be all that it takes Hansama on the backside. Here's Hansama gonna be everything, BB in the middle of everyone, but keep your eyes on the bars, the damage he's putting out is insane. The burst on the front line, Broken Blade and Yike ready to keep the fight going, and again, it starts so good for Koi in so many exchanges, but it is always G2 who finished the fight. While you bow to the sun, my spear finds your neck, the Pantheon just comes in and melts through Koi. Six kills right now for Broken Blade, Herald won't crash onto the tier three, but Malrek, Damn, I don't know, spicier. Whatever quote you just said, or that G2 team fight, but Gosh. that was Pantheon Ooh. quotes are just the greatest. Pantheon and Aatrox. Ooh. Oh, he spots him with a sweeper. The <laughs> gig is up. Trimby knocked back, taken down. Big pick. God, this is such a scrappy game, isn't it? And I honestly feel like G2 are kind of just outpacing more yeah. often than not. I feel like for every you know play that. How does G2 do this then? Do they jump over the wall with a Greg Assault? He's jump caps? over the wall. Larson, we have to keep an eye on what ultimate he's going to take away. There they go. Going down the poke. He's, he's, he's going to be all eyes on Malrang, and he gets it! The ultimate claw, and Malrang manages to take it away. Caps now trying to make it out to safety. Hansama waiting over the wall. Big damage coming from Hansama ultimate, but he can't quite finish off Shigenda. He cannot get in range. The flash forward will take him there, and now it is Comp on the run. G2 taking the fight, but Koi have stolen the Baron. Three members are out as well. Looks like Malrang's going to live top tier two. Larson's got the base off. But again, they're just taking their time stacking up these Qs. They're, they don't like this play anymore. That's the Ignite now gone. He's walking forward. Here comes the Pantheon. Oh, the Ganker has become the ganked. 
Well, Trevi Cap. taken out. Cap's got a bit of a kinder surprise there, didn't he? Just walked into the bush. Oh, Leona's here. Managed to get the kill. I can see what Trimby was going for there with Ash oh, to fighting. really get full power. Doesn't they're get in that case, but still TP. enough. Baron's gone though. 3k getting lower. G2 shredding through this one. That's the power of a Pantheon, a Varus, and a Yasuo. But now the fight continuing. Cap's fishing for the knock. Oh. And finds two! A beautiful tornado to kick this fight off. Malrang now on the retreat comp on the backside. Everything falling apart for Koi. And here comes Cap's again. He will not stop. G2 see their opportunity and they take it. They'll get every buff on the map and now they'll look to press to their advantage in the mid lane. So much damage coming out of Yikes. Triple kill. Shigenda. Nothing really going on here, sadly. Flash locket doesn't save him in time. Yike is uh -oh. finished. Both they're, side river looking for Trimby now. I think they're doubling down. Hansama and Caps are going to end the game. Trimby is on a walkabout. What has happened to Koi in these last few minutes? Trimby gets caught going for an aggressive play, but then they choose to fight 4v5. They go in after the Baron dies, they get chased down. There's no room to fight. They're lacking a lot of engage on the Leona, so they can't turn. And now G2 all of a sudden have blown the game, game wide open. Tier 2 gone in the top side. Tier 2 mid and Tier 3 mid has fallen as well. 2 minutes 45 seconds on this next Elder, but I'm not even sure if it'll come down to an Elder fight because now G2 coming out of base, huge spikes. Look at the left hand side of your screen. He's just gonna all oh. for space. He doesn't need anything else. G2 pulling the trigger, getting things kicked off. Caps going golden, buys himself a brief moment for the rest of the team to back him up as Shigendo walks away from Mickey. Oh, how the turns have tabled, Jace. But uh, Mickey just gonna walk him down with these creeps. The rest of G2 looking to end the game now. Yeah, pushing into the Nexus. Larson's gonna have to heal up. Comps has the ult and he's level 16, but no summoners. G2 do so much damage to these towers. There, 12k ahead. This is the finish that they have earned themselves on the back of so many plays prior to this moment. Koi, there are no options left in this game. They must look ahead to game two. Adapt if they want to survive in this best. Burning through his Trimby as the cleanse comes out to try to cancel it. Trimby going down. First blood, the flash forward, full confidence. Fonts on Mickey instantly going to flash in and follow up, but comp flashing out to safety, meaning it'll only be a single kill. Both flashes are gone. The heal was on cooldown for Trimby, so Hans had full confidence to commit to that. Caps is roaming down here to see if he can stop comp's base, stop him catching the wave, but Marank sees him. Waiting. Holding Calling off. Larson here. Caps could be in trouble. Caps in no man's land here. He can't really dash over the wall. He's going to have to use the ulti immediately if he wants to make it out to safety. Will not. Will just drop down here. Now going to ult Mowering back. Whoa. Flash over the wall. Making it out to safety. He's a bad lad. Oh, the body block. Yike, an absolute hero in this series. Now trying to heal up. Caps trying to get a bit more damage down. But there's the frozen thrall coming out. Yike going to fall down here. Tried desperately to save his mid laner. He will not get a kill back. It is a double for Mowering. That's exactly what Koi wanted. Caps Getting a bit greedy there, wanted to dive comp, maybe stop his base. Nets kills for Malrang on this Lee Sin. Holding off on the ultimate for now. Gonna be happy with just the dragon, but here comes Larson. Frozen claw of the wall, flat forward immediately focusing down. Mickey, Mickey, can he hook to safety? He cannot because the body block is there for Malrang. Larson grabbing the kill as Yike again. Waiting in the darkness, trying to create a bit of space here. Caps off to the side, ultimate just now coming out. As much as G2's comp is early game focused, this Lissandra Lee Sin is working as a bridge like I kind of about it. Caps is trying to get the mid wave in. Debating. Looking on Larson, yes, the ults can pull him back. Unstoppable is going to pull him back all out there as Larson desperately trying to disengage. Caps, so much damage here, but has to be careful. Q3. The tower is going to try to get it. Now pulling away, needs to time to Q3 flawlessly. Is he going to get it? Yes, he is! Player of Caps' caliber, not going to make a mistake in that instance. We'll find the solo kill onto Larson. Wander his way out, but Mowering going to come over the wall. Blast Cone waiting from there. There's just no way out of this one. Caps tries to dash back in, but Mowering now on a killing spree. There's the bolt dive. Mickey gets level 6. Knockup coming in for comp. Trimby still only level 5. That's going to be big, but an excellent polymorph to try to stop the play. It will, Larson's however, here. not be enough. He wants to go for another. The duck down coming in. Larson, this is your time. Larson with one reason. Corrosion throw coming out. Hansama ready to turn onto Yike. Very low tenacity here. The ult could come through. Should be an easy kill for Koi. Top strikes, trying to find it up. Caps can ult someone to try to make it up safe. He's dashing it. He's going to go for the ult. The unstoppable back into the rest of Koi, though. There's just no way out. It's a kill for Zeri. Now Maorang can escort his bot lane back top. Catch that wave. Looks like they're only roaming for the kill. Trying to punish Caps over, extending on the push there. Just threatening Polymorph down. Oh, but in on the flank. is so good. Your eye on the claw. Here comes the path. He doesn't even take the time to do it. They're just going to set their eyes on the target. Now he's going golden. Finds himself a brief moment. Hook going to go through to the rest of the team. G2 just don't have the damage. G2 don't have the tools. And Koi will find another pick in their favor. Broken Blades bots with no ults. It's a 5v4, isn't it? There's no way they stand a chance. In a good position. War jump. Kick flash. There it is. You call it. Boom. Isn't it? Flash W on Lee Sin is really hard to react to. If you W flash, it's a bit slower. Malring, good mechanics there. It's a bit tricky because you need your mouse in the right position to land the ward after you flash. 
Baron Force coming in. Yike is in the area. Broken Blade has the ult. Baron's going down. 6k HP. They don't have Lissandra ult. They don't have Lee. They're missing a lot of lockdown. Caps can get some damage done here. One was stolen before. Can another be stolen this time around? It's a Polymorph. Dragon's in the pit. It's 3k. It's getting lower, but they've not bursted it down. Now G2 just setting their eyes on the Baron. They need to burst through the objective. G2's kind of starting to take a little bit of a scrappy fight here, but they will not steal the objective. They will not take the fight. They will not get anything. Coin wiping the floor with G2. It's clean. No Conk. fear. Conk. Still standing. Manages to get one on Sama. So respectable effort here, but Malran coming in just to kick finish the job. Small shutdown, 7,000 gold lead now over to Koi Dragons in 50 seconds. That'll be an easy exit objective, but now they really want to start pressuring, pushing the game forwards. They've been playing slow, calm and collected, punishing G2s. Watch again, though. A lot of time goes golden this time around, doing a lot of damage back. That's the redemption. Oh. The knockback. Oh. Lars, they get the lot of Here comes the cleanup crew. G2. But again, uh, might as well call him the finisher. Damn, he is just closing that out. Triple kill on the top side of the map. This is a very different interpretation of 300. Leonidas kind of stood his ground. This, this guy's just kind of running. He's not a god, he's merely a human. He's a warrior, but now he's dead. So it's not going to be very useful in this next fight. Yep, yep. Koi's going to go towards the Baron. Marang smells hands in the area looking for the kill. Shigenda's just farming some DPM. Misses the Q, doesn't Pop happen. over the wall. Yike already has E'd away. It looks like this play's kind of dead. Yike like probably pull down back up. Throw the now ult. caps off Throw to the, the side. Yike 3k is getting lower. They kick him back into the pit. Now they want to burst the objective down. Yike, can he get any K in the cask? It will not work. There is no opportunity to fire back as Yike is just about dead here. Shigenda just fishing over the wall. That wall really the only thing keeping G2 safe. Ooh. It's not even keeping G2 safe. The wall will not keep them safe, G2. Getting slaughtered on the opposite side of the pit. Comp, not even getting taken down by Caps. The entire squad is there to shut that play down. The TP coming in to the mid lane. Broker Blade's on the run again. Every time he comes out of base, he's being chased, man. Live, die, live again, die again. Uh, ward hop, nope. Malang's missed a lot of cues in that Baron fight. Looks like me on least at this point, but that one was blind, so I'll forgive him for it. Doesn't even go for Broken Blades, he's gonna recall. And that's gonna be that. I think we knew this game was pretty much over after 15, 20 minute mark. We G2 did. really didn't have a way back in after the first Baron. Koi will close it Koi. out. Koi yep. did not get sucked in. Did not give away advantages. Played such a good mid-jungle game. Malrang and Larson pop it. He's looking pretty juicy. The walking forward, instant knock-up, knock-back. Body slam can follow, coming in from Broken Blade, trying to get out of that ulti. Is Shigenda now running out to safety, zooming away. He's gonna live! He is gonna live. Yikes, Q's up now. He needs to charge the Q. Broken Blade Broke needs to tank. tank. Body slam forward with the flash, finishing the kill. First blood and a little bit of a shh coming Larson. out on that emo. Larson's got the blast cone, he's got the ult. I get information in this tri bush. Malrang's on a face check. Malrang gonna get hit here. The combo has to come through if they want to burn through Malrang. But Malrang already popping one half of the ult and immediately Koi confidently taking the fight. Hansel gonna try to fire one back. The flash out to safety. Hansel get one in exchange, but a two for one in favor of Koi. Nice roam from Larson. He knew that bu that bush was a little bit dangerous. Called Malrang to face check it. He's right behind him. He ends up dying, yes, but two kills over to Koi. It's wrong. Shigenda and Broken Blade trading ults up towards his top side. I expect Broken Blade probably, you know, knocked him into look for the body slam. The ult had to be used to disengage, but that doesn't matter because. Koi are swapping. They're yep. sending their severe Thresh up here. Malrang has the Herald. So now it's a... Caps already burned the oh. charm. The OG hyperscaling AD carry is Mickey overstaying there, trying to get a bit of vision down. The second ult he's gonna come, come out. He goes Golden Comp, just waiting the hook, gonna come in. Flash oh. out to safety, but Comp hits him with a Boomerang Blade anyway. There will be no safety this time around. The Chomp hitting onto Comp. Now immediately they're gonna get the fight kicked off, but it is Yike in no man's land. He's not getting anything done. G2 now trying to turn. G2 now trying to clash with this Larson on the backside. The Akali waiting. Has to hold his breath, has to make sure these cooldowns count. Now looking to finish off Han Sama. Immortal Shield Bow will not be enough. Broken Blade now next on the list is Koi. Monstering G2 on the bottom side of the map, taking their time here. Shigenda just looking to set up the stun. Berlin coming alive for Koi. Larson wants it. He's under the tower, one versus five. Malrang needs to drop the aggro. They need to let it reset onto the cannon. Broken Blade has the body slam to work with. Mickey's quite close, but yeah, he goes down. Yeah. Mickey misses the combo. Five Maybe he dies here. Mickey, no, he's just, he's gonna get one back, and that's gonna be big. That's at least a little bit of gold in return. Mickey trying desperately to survive. Boomerang Blade back in. It's gonna hit him. Larson gonna take a bit of poke in exchange, but overall, Koi, massive fight. Instantly 3K, almost 4K now in the lead. That is game deciding. Broken Blade investing the TP, trying to help his team out. Mickey greeting for a little bit of vision there. Nice punish by Malrang. I didn't think Herald's up. Does G2 really want to fight this? They just lost the Ari ult. They lost the Varus ult. 
Charge of the Q is going to go over the wall. Maybe they're looking for Shigenda. No flash on him. Yike has the ult if they want to lock him down. That should be an easy kill, perhaps. No stopwatch either. Broken Blade's there Not to make sure. Ulti. He can try to buy as much time as possible. The rest of his team tries to get something done in the mid lane. Shigenda now needs to get away, but the Q will connect to kill. Cap's going to get the charm, but there's not a lot left here to get taken out. He's going to go down, but look at Hans on the minimap. He's saying, well, my mid laner's going to die. Maybe I can solo out Drake here. As much as Yike might be on the top side, G2 are screaming for a cross map. Bot tower, Drake, anything. They have about a 15 to 20 second time window where Koi needs to catch Midwave and move back down in towards this bot side. Lock up on a broken blade. What's the call going to be? TP now being burned. They're looking to isolate and lock down Maorang. Maorang using the second spin here. They're going to take out the jungler of Koi. They're going to take out the tower. Now Caps is on the hunt. Caps whipping on the charm is going to be big, but there comes the knock of a G2. Sides of Life on the bottom side of the map as they take a tower and two kills. Catching Koi off guard. G2 went for the dragon. 30 seconds where they're all in fog of war. Koi made the gamble. Probability says they probably base to try to retake topside and push out mid, but no, they overstayed. They lost a couple creeps for it, but showing uh, Mickey, Caps, and Yike up towards this top side. Herald comes down. They just want to get this tower, get 600 gold. Does G2 engage? Something. Mickey on the backside, they're just immediately going to get taken out. A lot of damage, but they're not quite going to finish it. Yes, they are! Just gone in the blink of an eye. So much damage from that Divine Sunder or Wukong. Tower's gone down as well. A lot of gold into Larson. They have TP on Shigenda ready. They could look for some kind of Baron start, but they used Koi's threat right now. If they can get a ward in that pit, he could look to flash over onto the oh, rest of G2. Around. Trimby flash forward on the hook. He is going to connect on the Broken Blade, and that is massive. That could be fight deciding, but now there's a TP in the middle of the pit. They're trying to turn and burn. Yank throwing out the ultimate caps. Taking out Koi. Coming together as a death ball to decimate G2 around the pit. They take away the dragon, and now G2, they've overcommitted. They've overstayed. They're welcome. The shuriken flip will not connect, but here comes Trimby over the wall. The hex flash in. Mickey knows it's now or never. He has to turn, but there is nothing left for G2 in the fight. The ultimate from the cannon. Malrank to finish a double for Comp and an ace for Koi. Five for zero. We'll see if they can get an objective off of that. Ten seconds on Yikes. Respawn. Again, that's pushing out Bond and has TP. I don't think they can get a barrel. Looking over the wall here, Yike. Hang on a second, he's going really deep here. Mickey is not the damage dealer you need next year. He's going to go to Trimby. They're ready to pitch for a play. G2, are they going to full commit to this? Looking to burn down Trimby before anything else can happen. Cap's going to miss on the charm, and the rest of Koi now descending. Mickey trying to get out to safety, but they kind of just appear and then disappear yeah. just like that. G2 really getting lost in the chaos, looking for a pick, looking for some way into this river. They were kind of getting choked out towards the top side. G2 going to try and look for this mid-tier one, but Koi are going to pick up an easy Baron. Shigenda's marking the rest of...